All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. A little while ago, I did a video on the proper methods and means and methods of zeroing the scope utilizing the turrets, MOA or mill red or scoped turrets. And the reason I do that is because that's the way I was taught. And you know your scope, you can make your adjustments, just a point of impact, boom, three to the left, three down, and you're on. Now, there's a lot of people out there that have an alternative method, and that is zeroing the rifle by maneuvering the reticle to the point of impact off of the point of aim. Now, what you're seeing right here, somewhere on here, is I, and it took me forever to get this set up so we could do it right, but what you're looking at is the ACSS reticle and the 4 to 14 by 44 front focal plane scope by primary arms, the one that I use, and this is the rifle that I used the other day. All right, so with that being said, what we're doing is we're looking at the reticle. Now, the point of aim is going to be the center point of the reticle. Now, those two little black blurry th pots, those are supposed to represent um, impacts. All right, so here's what you're going to do. And it's a very simple method, especially those guys who are using, say, deer rifle scopes or sporting scopes that don't have necessarily the hash marks or the actual adjustments on there. So what I, I suggest, and, you know, Larry Potterfield has got an awesome video. He did it on one of his commercials on the Outdoor Channel. But in any case, what you're going to do is you're going to steady the rifle. You're going to set it up in a bench or, you know, on a bipod with the rear secured, and you're going to shoot at the center point on the bullseye, which is your point of aim. Now, what's going to happen is, is that point of impact is going to be over here or over there. So I've got two little black dots representing the point of impact. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust to that right hand side. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold the rifle steady after my shot and I'm going to take the turrets and I'm going to adjust those to the point of impact. So in looking at this thing, I need to go down. So what we're going to do, and I hope you follow this, is we're going to adjust down, which is up, and then we're going to go right on the reticle, on the turret adjustments. And what that did, or did, is if it was a little bit more precise, it would now, when you shot the rifle at your point of aim, the point of impact should be right where the reticle is. The theory is awesome and it works. And if you're in a hurry, that's the way to do it. A lot of times, a lot of hunters, a lot of guys, they do it that way. Me personally, I'll use either one of them. I don't care. So what we're going to do, say for instance, I shoot now, and that point of impact was way over there. I don't know if I got enough turret to get it over there. But you can see how the adjustments move the reticle to the impact. We bring it back all the way across up and down, just like that. So again, you shoot, bang, point of impact's down in the bottom right. We're gonna go ahead and bring it down and over, just like that. And I hope you guys found this video of some value. I know a lot of folks out there who are watching this are probably gonna go, there's a lot of different ways, and there are, but this is what was asked of me in one of the videos, and this is how to zero your scope by pointing or taking the reticle to the point of impact. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate in leaving them down below. And as always, if you like the video, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's Code of Boy 32. Support the boys in blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. It's a great reticle. A lot of people say it's very busy, but if you know how to use it, it's a spot on. It's Code of Boy 32. Out.